I think the fans will really enjoy the new edition, and that was really uh, a big part of the the whole exercise here, is so that when they can have a better experience when coming into the park, um, and uh, and just you know from uh, from seating, from uh, availability of concession space, and uh, and just to build the excitement when they when they come in, that was primary goal right off the bat. We had toured a number of other stadiums of similar size and similar leagues prior to this. And uh, you know, we had some takeaways from, from those areas and you know, some things obviously we knew wouldn't work for us. But, uh, but yeah, it, the fan experience has been one of the main concerns right from the beginning. Well, the upper level was sort of the key to the whole design that we went after. Because uh, most stadiums, most significant stadiums, have a top down loading capacity from them. Where we were a bottom up, so you had to come across the bottom and then find the staircase that you're gonna go up and then go to your seat. Where in converting it to the top down load, um, what gave us the ability to provide that upper level area. Um, so all the services are available up there and uh, with washrooms and concession and and then you know as well it's uh, you just got a lot better viewing from up at that level which was never available before. Well we the elevator is not going to be functional for the home opener uh, because we have to get uh, a DARSA which is the governing body in Alberta that, that approves uh, elevators and amusement rides. Uh, so they're uh, scheduled to come on this 18th to do the final uh, you know, approval of it. Uh, the concession equipment only got installed a couple of days ago, so it may or may not be available by Friday, depending on, you know, if there's a lot of work going on there as well. I think it's uh, pretty spectacular for the for the baseball community here in Lethbridge to have a, to have basically a new uh, facility opening uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's been a long time in the planning stages, and we're really excited to show it off tomorrow night. You know, when you come to a ball game, it's not just about the ball game, it's about visiting with friends and you know, having some uh, refreshments and some food and, and a fun, enjoyable time. And this is going to give them a lot more space in the stadium, a lot more viewpoints in the stadium, and, uh, you know, better concessions, better washrooms, all the things that were identified, you know, 10 years ago when we did a, uh, you know, a customer satisfaction survey that started this whole process when Spitz came on board as the title sponsor of the stadium. The players aren't in the stands, but did they uh, get a boost from this all the same? Uh, they're they're excited about seeing a facility like this and and you know they've been walking around you know we showed them in the evenings we're having a billet and and player barbecue tonight to show them the new facility uh, you know they they just see the excitement that it brings to the community which then generates to them on the field you know we had a vision in mind when we started designing this and that was a few years ago but uh, you know the top down concourse uh, concept was what we looked at and I, I think it's turned out great. Uh, the sight lines and the views from the upper concourse are fantastic. Uh, you know, and if you look off the backside, uh, you get really nice views of Henderson Park and Henderson Lake. So uh, the spectator experience, I think, has been much improved and we're, we're really pleased with the way it's turned out.